Well, imagine hearing that right there at 3 in the morning after last night's storm made this mess right here in Brunswick. Those sirens left a lot of people scared looking for a tornado, but there was not one. And even the wind damage was contained to nearby Brunswick Township. Since there's been a history of issues with sirens, we sent Megan Hickey to Brunswick to find out if the city has worked out those kinks. And Megan, the track record includes two actual tornadoes where the sirens were not used. Right, they came through this area in the summer of 2014. As you said, those sirens were not used, and now the city tells me they'd rather be safe than sorry. The mudroom, it's gone. I open a door and there's nothing there, it's gone. It sounded like a train. Tony Moran told me he thought it was a tornado that took out the side of his porch. I wanted a sunroom, but this isn't how I wanted to get one. The winds blew out his windows and scattered his belongings down the street. Fish tank. Toolbox, anything that was along that wall is now gone. And within minutes of Moran's call, the city decided to act. The decision was made right then and there, we're going to activate the siren. But the National Weather Service said there wasn't a tornado. Still, emergency responders told me sounding the alarm was a good move. Always better to have it go off and not need it than the other way around. So yeah, absolutely a good use of the siren system. City spokesman Nick Solar told me the past informed their decision. We were, uh, like I say, criticized before. After sirens didn't sound during a real tornado two years ago, when dozens of homes and businesses were badly damaged. While most Brunswick residents weren't affected, Solar defended the city's decision. If somebody's offended or, or awakened by the situation, it, it's unfortunate. But if it turned out that it was a tornado that was going to keep, keep on going, you know, you're trying to do your best to alert the residents. Now, the Brunswick Hills Fire Department told me they're going to continue to survey for damage throughout the day. Luckily, no injuries were reported. Live in Brunswick Hills, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5. All right, Megan, and you see.